Hello, everybody. My name is Lauren Brin. I'm the Assistant Commissioner of the MIAA, and I'm very excited to be here today with Emma Detmers from Hope. Emma, how are you today? I'm good. How are you? Good. So tell me a little bit about yourself. Yeah, so I'm a senior at Hope um, on the women's soccer team. Obviously, you have had plenty of time within the MIAA. What are some of your favorite things about this conference and maybe some of your favorite rivalries? Yeah, um, I like how, you know, any conference game, you just know it's going to be a battle. Um, there's never really any game to like, yeah, this is in the bag, like we're going to win. Um, it's always competitive. Everybody wants to go out and win the conference, win the championship. So um, I definitely like how uh, unpredictable it is. It makes it a lot of fun. Um, Got to say, I love the Calvin rivalry. Um, it's been super fun every year. I've been on the team and um, it's always a really good game. It's always a really good atmosphere at the game too with the fans, whether it's at Calvin or at Hope. Um, and I think both teams just respect each other and know um, how much each wants to win. So that's super fun. What made you choose Division Three specifically? Um, I just didn't want my identity, I guess, to be soccer. I wanted to be able to do other things. I wanted to be able to be in clubs that um, interested me to be able to um, just have free time with my friends, go home if I need to. Um, and so that's been really awesome, being able to play the sport I love and then also not having it be my entire life. Um, I think that's something unique about our program too. It's like, we really emphasize finding your identity outside of soccer. So definitely learned a lot through that. I'm sure you're pretty busy between uh, soccer and your studies, but what are some hobbies that you have outside of that? Yeah, um, I love just being outside. I love hiking and um, camping. Uh, I also love downhill skiing. So hopefully get to do some of that this winter. Um, but yeah, just kind of enjoying the outdoors, really lucky to go to school in West Michigan where there's awesome hikes or where we also have the beach. So I like to take advantage of that. Your coach mentioned that you came back for the first time this season after tearing your ACL during the first game last year. What did that recovery process look like for you? Like, were you still able to attend games or, you know, what, for those who don't know, what is it, what is the recovery process for an ACL injury? Yeah, so it was um, nine months of like physical therapy. Um, obviously I had surgery. So nine months after surgery, just like kind of progressive physical therapy until I got cleared. Um, but I was still at every practice that I could be at uh, every game. I only missed one game because it was like the day after my surgery. Um, and yeah, I still felt as much part of the team as I do this year and as I did when I wasn't hurt. And that's full credit to our team. Um, they really made me feel seen and um, made me just know like that I was still having an impact. So that was like really special, really awesome kind of realized how powerful those relationships are, but it was definitely a grind um, to get back, like not always wanting to go to PT, um, not feeling like I was where I should be at. Uh, so, but I made it through. <laughs> what does it mean to you to be able to be back competing during your final season? Um, it's just like so much fun. <laughs> that's, I don't, that's the one word that like I keep describing it as. I feel like I'm back in this point where I was freshman year, where I'm just kind of happy to be here. Obviously I want to win and I want our team to be as successful as we can be, but I'm just so thankful to like be out on the field and be able to like give my teammates hugs on the field when we score goals. Um, like I certainly would not be here without those teammates and um, teammates who were on the team last year. So it's just so much fun. <laughs> So your coach also mentioned that you uh, were involved in competitive skiing. Tell me a little bit about that. Um, yeah, so I grew up in Traverse City um, and I learned to ski at a small hill there when I was like three um, called Hickory Hills. So I would, my parents just threw me out there and I loved it. Um, I started racing, I think 
I think when I was like seven. Um, so yeah, um, raced in high school. Uh, we had a high school team and like our high school conference all had teams. So it's big, um, big sport up north. And then I also did um, like the equivalent of a club soccer team in ski racing. So um, it was a lot of fun. Um, I was really lucky to be able to do it. Like coming to college, I realized that it was a unique sport that I got to do. So, um, and it's also a sport that I'll be able to keep doing well after college and um, pretty much for the rest of my life. So I, I'm lucky for that. So you took a seed trip, which is an athletic mission trip. Where did you go for that? I went to Costa Rica. Okay. And what did you and the other student athletes do while you were there? Yeah, so we went, we started out, we went to um, San Jose, which is the capital. And we stayed there for uh, like half the trip. We were there for, I think like 10 days, 10 or 11 days. So you're there for the first half. Um, we stayed in this house called the Amka house, which is where a lot of missionary groups stay. Um, and we were working with, a sports ministry program called Push the Rock. Um, so we had one of their leaders with us and then two leaders from Hope. And when we were in San Jose, we went to different elementary schools and would spend like half the time playing with the kids. Uh, they would kind of teach us their games that they like to play. We played a lot of soccer with them, a lot of baseball. Um, and then the second half of our time with them, somebody from our group would uh, share their story or like share a verse with the kids and um, just kind of talk about Jesus with them um, and get to know them and kind of share our relationship with God. And then the second half of the trip, we went to this reservation where um, we stayed in the pastor of the community. We stayed in his house and then we went around to different schools there and did the same thing, but we also brought them water filters because um, they didn't have access to clean water. So uh, we brought them water filters and kind of used that analogy of like um, the dirty water going into the filter is like us kind of entering our relationship with God. Um, and then the clean water coming out is kind of like us uh, asking God for forgiveness and like kind of being cleansed of our sins. So it's a super cool opportunity. I'm really grateful for it. And um, our group was awesome. Like they're some of my best friends now. So I like closing out each interview with kind of a fun, unique question. So skiing has been a big part of your life. Where is the most unique place that you have skied at? Definitely um, Austria. I used to go to um, camps there when I was in high school. Um, and they were just awesome. It's like a glacier. So there's no trees or anything on the mountain um, and it's just cool like skiing there but also kind of being immersed in their culture so that's yeah. awesome well Emma thank you so much for taking the time to speak with me today and best of luck to you and your team the rest of the season thank you so much